people do all sorts of things in their spare time. They might learn to tap dance, they might make a quilt, or they could go bell ringing. But whatever you do, it's got to be fun for some. <laughs> to Silleth for their Country and Western Festival and get attacked by a group of scouts at their Brass Monkeys camp. Fun for some. It's the last show of the series and this is an activity that I'm not so keen on. I don't do hills or heights, so you can imagine my glee when I arrived here at the bottom of this mountain to meet the members of the Cumbria Soaring Club. I caught up with Ian Hall, who used to be a vicar, don't you know? So, paragliding. Why not? Well, I can think of a million reasons why not. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit puffed after the walk, I must say. So we're quite high up. Ah, uh, 1,700, yeah. I think, up here. Yeah. And how far might you get? Distance or height? Bit of both. Um, today we could get up to 5,000 feet, I think. It's a long way. There's a mixture of sheer terror and complete exhilaration. Is it? Yeah. But you've been doing it for 18 years, uh, and I'm just about to do it for the first time. You're supposed to be saying, Maybe it's you should have started fine. earlier. Sorry. It, it's, it's fine. Ian, there's nothing no, to worry about. You were... No, no problem at all. <laughs> You'll be good. Because, to be honest with you, we've done loads of things for this series, but this is the one I've been dreading the most. That's why I wanted a vicar on the ground. <laughs> Bless you, my son. Uh, You'll be thank okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. Ta -ra. Hello, Gordon. Oh, hi, Ian. Whoa. How are you doing? Well, steady. We don't want to start like that. <laughs> <laughs> You've okay? saved me already. <laughs> yeah, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm a bit nervous. Yes, I hear that you've uh, been looking forward to this flight for a few days now. Well, since I, I did. It has it. played on my mind a bit. Hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. It's all very sedate, this sport. Um, you know, we're, we're certainly not adrenaline. Sedate, I like. Movies. You're not adrenaline, John. No, it's all. not no, about no. the kind of. No. No, it can be if you want it to be. Learn I it. don't want it. To be. Well, no, this is yeah. it. <laughs> I love you. I love this man. He yeah. is going to keep me safe. <laughs> we'll so I won't have to pray the whole time I'm up there. No, 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 not at all. You notice we're all in these one piece suits, and yeah. uh, I got my most attractive one for you today. Oh, yes. Ben. Love the suit. Getting into it, now that's a whole different story. Oh, no, it could be a squeeze. <laughs> well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. <laughs> OK, so I managed to tie it in a knot round the waist. I'm petrified, but I suppose it's now or never. Down the back. Stay on your feet, stay on your feet, stay on your feet, stay on your feet. Stay on your feet, stay on your feet. Oh. OK, are you ready, Ian? Yeah. You want to stand there for a second just to feel the wind? You all right, mate? Yeah. Start running. Start running. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep running. <laughs> What do you think of it so far, Ian? Oh, it's beautiful. Is it a bit of an out-of-the-world experience yeah, for it you is. here, it's mate? Yeah, it is. It's really beautiful, yeah. 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 That's fantastic. Well, all we're doing at the moment is just using the beautiful power of nature to keep us airborne. Talk about a carbon low-emissions sport. Well, I don't think you get any lower than you this, really. You certainly wouldn't, baby. Yeah, we're not going to land this time. We're just going to fly past. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind it so much when we're like this. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? 
As you can see, I'm getting cocky now. So you can guess what's going to happen next. Yes, the wind went well and truly out of our sails, and we ended up landing down at the bottom of the hill. Oh well, it was great fun though. Here I am, outside Sail Kirk. The weather is completely Baltic. It's freezing cold. There's a terrible bitter wind coming in. And yet, there's loads of tents. It can only mean one thing. Scum! <laughs> So, Doug, why do you do this as your hobby? We just get a buzz out of doing it. We're, it's helping the kids, keeping them off the streets, yeah. teaching them values. It's fun. It's fun for some. Yep, that's it, Ian. It's uh, fun for some. <laughs> <laughs> Black Karen or orange? Oh, I'll have the orange. Thank you, and you like two biscuits, it's chocolate custard crunch stuff, yeah. cake, orange, or ordinary cookies. <laughs> How are you? You all right? Yeah. You survived the night, all right? Yeah. Who said no? I don't. Nicholas. Even me. I didn't say anything. Was yeah. it rough? Very. Yeah. Was it? <laughs> it was <laughs> for me. <laughs> It was for me. I've got toothpaste in my hair. <laughs> You've got toothpaste in your hair? Yeah, with my hair. And up his nose. Oh, yeah. He's Why got, got toothpaste up his nose. <laughs> it was him. You have a kind of brooding quality of anger about you, I must say. <laughs> my You'd better learn to sleep with your eyes open. Next count, you're mine. We've been busy all morning in a military operation, tying knots and lashing bits of wood. We've built two sturdy catapults and they're ready to go. Let's battle commence! <laughs> 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 I've been hit. It's all over for me now. Leave me here. Don't... So, yes. it's half past seven on a Sunday morning yeah. here in Cockermouth, Carbu. Yes. It's freezing cold. You've dragged me out of bed. And this yes. is your idea of fun? It certainly is. Sunday morning. Car booting. What is it that you love? Um, oh, it must be the thrill of the chase, I think. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like kind of clean treasure hunting. <laughs> Because you never know what you're going to find. You don't, you know, it's, it's fascinating, really. I collect buttons, buckles, vintage clothing, uh, products and packaging. Um, Do you? A little bit of everything, really. Does your house kind of turn into an explosion of car bootiness? It, yeah, yeah. Basically, Does it's it? uh, full to the brim. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I've had to buy a new house to uh, house it all. Have you? <laughs> yes. Really, honestly. <laughs> honestly. Yeah. What about today? Have you had any luck today? Yeah, well, I did find this. Oh, uh, magic pocket! Amazing 1930s Art Deco brooch, which is absolutely wonderful. Oh, that is lovely. And that's the kind of thing I really like to find. That's beautiful. That's like you an know. early plastic. Or yeah, something. yeah. It's. Uh, I think it's a celluloid. Why I'm here.
Victoria Wood said there yeah. would only be a revolution in England if they banned car boot sales and caravaning. I think she was right. I think she was. I think as they'd well. be quite an uprising. I think they would. <laughs> you know, people kind of really love it. Oh, they, they do. It's a passion, and they look forward to it every weekend. And oh, it's great fun. Is that why we had to be here at seven o'clock in the morning on a Sunday? <laughs> I'm afraid so. The early bird. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> It seems that Caroline has given me the boot sale bug. Well, if you can't beat them, join them. Here, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, roll up, roll up. You've got your cuddly toys, you've got your little golf game, you've got your collective works of car miles. Dart boards, hundreds of dart boards. We got your seven inch singles here, foreigner, got a lot. Give me a quid for it. A quid? <laughs> oh, 30 quid to you, sir. Roll up, roll up. Coming up, I head off to the Isle of Man to indulge in one of my great passions, steam trains. And become a rootin' tootin' son of a gun at the Sillith Country and Western Festival. Yeah! I've climbed over 120 steps to meet some people with a very unusual, but also a very traditional interest. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Ian. <coughs> nice to see you. It's lovely, lovely to be here. Good. Huge privilege. You are the captain of the tower. The tower captain, yes. The yes. tower <laughs> captain, oh, yeah. Makes it no sounds much less martial. That <laughs> <way>. <laughs> here at the bell tower of Carlisle Cathedral. That's right, that's right, with all our 12 bells. Here, and it's practice night? It is, and we have lots of friends from other towers coming to join us on a practice night, so that's very, very helpful to us. Probably helpful to the neighbours as well, because they get you all in one place. They think, oh, <laughs> we, why aren't the bells ringing tonight? Well, they get used to Friday night, night I think, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what sort of things do you all do as day jobs when you're not ringing the bells? Well, quite a few of us have retired, so we've more time to devote to ringing. Yeah. But uh, some of us have been teachers. Uh, we have a priest, who is the vicar of the church next door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, he comes to join us when he can. We also have a paramedic with us, which That's is handy. very useful, After of course. After all those steps... <laughs> I'm sure you'd appreciate you that. You know, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> Are they heavy? How much is the heaviest one? The heaviest one weighs just over a ton. Is it? Yes. Keep your feet. It's it. fairly light as bells go. Oh, is it? <laughs> <Yes>. A ton? <laughs> a ton is fairly light. Nothing to it. <laughs> it takes quite a long time to learn to be a proficient bell ringer. May but, I ask, uh, how long? I know this isn't a gentlemanly <laughs> question. How long have you been ringing? Well, shall we say about half a century? Have you? Yes. Have you really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're getting quite good at it? I wouldn't say that. Oh. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> so, Margaret, do you think I could have a go? Well, we could perhaps give you a, a trial run, yes. A, a lesson you have of some to, kind. You'll have to do exactly as you're told. I promise. <laughs> I'm very obedient. First thing, take your coat off oh, here we and go. Yeah, all right. To let your arms go up as the rope takes you. OK. You can't push a rope up. I'm not up. going to do that comedy. No. All right. Nobody ever does if they no. talk properly. OK. Oh, I feel growing anxiety. <laughs> Here and we look go. Look straight ahead. Yeah. Don't look at anybody. Blimey. Don't Crumbs. pull. You don't need to pull too hard. Look straight ahead yes. rather than up. Oh, I looked up again.
Next up, I'm in the Isle of Man to meet a group of people who, like me, are raving mad about railways. Hello. Oh, I then. love narrow-gauge railways, me. I'm an enthusiast myself. Tell me, what is it you think that's great about railways? Oh, I've always loved steam trains and steam railways ever since I was a small boy, and it's nice to actually be involved with one, and for the last 25 years with a group of other lads have restored something at the Gradle Glen Railway. Yeah. So you've been working on this for 25 years? That's right. We started in, uh, just in 1982. There's a band of about ten of us. And uh, since then, we've managed to restore the whole three-quarter of a mile line and the buildings and, of course, the steam engines that go with it. Yeah. So this is your idea of fun? It is. It's great fun. I work in an office. I just shuffle paper from one side of the desk to the other. And on a weekend, I can come down here and actually work hard and actually stand back at the end of the day and see a result of all the work I've done. Yeah. Well, I can't wait for a ride on it, actually. Right, well, I think yeah, we better get on because I think uh, the engines are about to go. Oh, OK. Right, let's go. OK. <laughs> ah! Alex, sadly, there was no room for me in the carriage. And you're going to have to come on the so footplate. I'm forced to come on the footplate. Oh. <laughs> How long have you been a driver? Ooh, and it's only my second year, actually, it, yeah. uh, driving on the line. It is, uh, although I've been down here since I was 14 years old. <laughs> and that age, you're just playing around with ballast and helping them paint things, really. That's yeah. the main thing. Yeah. But you've been a railway enthusiast? Oh, since I was about this high. Okay. I had um, a godfather who was a big railway enthusiast. He used to take me on all the trains and things like this when I was this high, and it kind of... Uh, it's a bit like a disease that stays with you. Yeah. What a good one. A good disease, <laughs> a lovely disease. You've got the best job in the world, in my view. It is. It's brilliant. I mean, the passengers get to travel in that nice sort of smooth-running carriage there with beautiful sort of nice sprung bogies. And, um, to be honest, we get to be on here where you'll feel every lump and bump on the track. Yeah. But you'll get covered in dirt and soot all day. Yeah, good. But it's, um, it is, it's the best way to travel. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of people go caravanning. Caravanning is one of the most popular pastimes in Britain. But I'm not here at this caravan park in Silleth to go caravanning. I'm here to pursue a hobby which has well and truly gone west. <laughs> My name is Doreen, and I'm from Workington. My name is Father J.D. It's not my real name, but that's what I go by. The main thing is the dancing. I dance day and night, but also the dressing up. It's great fun, you know? It's, you're, you're real living your childhood. <laughs> Senoras. Hello. Hello. Here I am in the wild west of Cumbria at the Silleth Country Music Festival. And you're two of the organisers, Black Eyed Sue and Star. Tell me, how long does it take you to kiss out the room? It looks fantastic in here. Well, I think we actually come down for about four o'clock on Thursday, don't we? It usually um, takes us about three hours on Thursday nights. Yeah. And then Friday morning we, we come in and finish off. And do you bring all the stuff in a covered wagon? No. 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 Cars. In two cars normally. So find... now we three cars. <laughs> we can't find anybody to lend us a horse, can we? <laughs> don't tell my heart, my neck is breaking hard. Just don't think you'd understand. And if you tell my heart, my neck is breaking hard. He might blow up and kill this man. I enjoyed the line dancing, but the highlight of today's proceedings, without a shadow of a doubt, is the Mexican trilogy. Just watch this. <laughs> Why you 
is because on the 6th of March, in 1836, that was the last day of a 13 day siege for a little old mission in Texas called the Alamo. This trilogy is to honor the brave men who died in this battle. Just fantastic. I feel like I'm having a surreal dream. How's about that for a Mexican wave? Don't pay us. Are you ready? And of course, every country and Western festival worth its salt has its own gun slanging competition. And as you might have guessed, they roped me into taking part. Come on, wake it up! Ladies and gentlemen, on the floor, I've got Colorado. <laughs> His opponent for today, Fat Bald Eagle. <laughs> Gunfighters, are you ready? <laughs> ready! I've got the meanest, keenest, maybe not so leanest, gun toting opponent in the wild west of Cambria. But I'm sure going to try and give that son of a gun a run for his money. I think Fat Bald Eagle held his own there. You know, I really do. I'm, I'm ready to take this one on. That was Fun for Some. Fun for Some.